to get a spouse. Wow, that's a biggie. And you may be a mother of a child that you don't want them to marry the wrong person and have divorce and heartache, heartbreak. You may have grandchildren. You want them to marry the right person. So I'm going to share with you about how my mother prayed for me because she got turned on to God, got born again when I was in the university. So it was later in my life. And she began to pray for me that I would marry the right one. Well, you know, it was a little late as far as I was concerned to pray the right mate because I already had my eyes on somebody that I thought was the right mate. And so, you know, I began to date this person, not a born again Christian, not godly at all. And so it was kind of a challenging time in my life. But my mother was really praying. Then I came back home. I began to teach school. And I was dating a man that was actually a brother of one of the students in the school where I was teaching. And my mother said to me, there's something wrong with him. I, I just thought, oh, come on. I said, there's always something wrong with everyone I date. And I said, why don't you just quit praying them out of my life? Pray the right one in. And so she said, I will. And she began to pray. And I met my husband at a home of some of her friends. And I thought, oh, brother, he is so religious. But he's so good looking. You know, and very warm, very nice, very friendly. And so I began to date him. And my mother was quite upset. You say, well, I thought she wanted you to marry the right one. She did. But she said, Marilyn, he's very spiritual. And you're not. And so then one night he came to our house and he always liked to come for dinner, but he didn't come for dinner. He said, I'll be there later. I said, why, why didn't you come for dinner? He said, because I'm fasting. What are you fasting for? You. Me? I don't need it. I'm born again. He said, yes, but you're not committed. He said, I serve the devil with all my heart. Now I'm going to serve God with all my heart and I'm not marrying a woman whose heart is not turned on to Jesus. So he went on a three-day fast. I'm giving you a testimony. And in that timing, I couldn't sleep. And God kept dealing with me about my decisions. And so the third night, I surrendered my life to God no matter what happened. Well, you can imagine, I married Wallace Hickey, and I've had a supernatural life. So... I would say to you, if you're a parent or grandparent, hang in, honey, because this is a very serious decision. I would say to you, if you're about to make a decision, be sure it's a God decision, because I had a wonderful marriage for many years. Yeah, many years. And you can have the same. I trust you're watching this program. You're praying. You're wise. You're making wise decisions for those you love. Amen. And if they're already in a wrong relationship, you're praying that Jesus will move in that too.